Tech and AI Weekly Wrap, October 5, 2025. What's up, meatbags? Welcome back to your weekly dose of tech and AI news, where we break down the biggest moves, wildest innovations, and game-changing headlines from the digital frontier. It's the week of October 5, 2025, and trust me, this one's packed. Let's dive in. First up, OpenAI is going full throttle with its Stargate initiative, announcing massive new data centers in Texas and Ohio. These hyperscale builds are designed to support next-gen generative and agentic AI workloads. They've locked in supply deals with Samsung and SK Hynix for high bandwidth memory, critical for training frontier models. This move is part of a broader U.S. strategy to dominate AI infrastructure, and it's already pushing NVIDIA's valuation past $4 trillion. We're talking about an arms race in compute power, and OpenAI is leading the charge. But here's the twist. Some analysts are calling this a bubble. With 400 billion TULAs pouring into AI infrastructure, folks like Jeff Bezos are warning that too many bad ideas are chasing investment dollars. Meanwhile, Cerebra Systems pulled its IPO, signaling that not every hardware play will survive. So is this the new industrial backbone or a dot-com style overreach? Time will tell. Let's talk product drops. Meta launched Vibes, an AI-powered short-form video feed inside the Meta AI app. Think TikTok meets remixable avatars. Apple rolled out its foundation models framework with iOS 26, letting devs build on-device AI features using Apple intelligence. Anthropic dropped Claude Sonnet 4.5, its most powerful model yet, with major upgrades in reasoning, coding, and agentic workflows. These aren't just updates, they're signals. The race to embed AI into everyday tools is heating up. Over at OpenAI, two new features are making waves. ChatGPT Pulse delivers personalized daily updates based on your chats, feedback, and connected apps. And Sora 2, a new video and audio generation model, adds physics-based realism and social features. This is AI that doesn't just respond, it anticipates, creates, and connects. Hold up, this might be the coolest gadget of the year. Meta just dropped the Ray-Ban Display Smart Glasses at Meta Connect 2025, and they're not just stylish, they're straight up sci-fi. These glasses come with a built-in AR display right in the lens voice-activated camera. Hey Meta, take a video. Gesture controls via a neural band wrist controller, real-time AI assistant baked into your face Mark Zuckerberg called them a gateway to personal super intelligence. And whether you think that's genius or hype, the buzz is real. Imagine walking down the street, getting live translations, directions, or even social media overlays, all without pulling out your phone. Early reviews say the demo was slick, the style is on point, and the privacy debates already heating up. But one thing's clear, this is the wearable to watch. On the legal front, Disney issued a cease and desist to character Dai for using its IP in AI-generated avatars. This marks a turning point in how platforms handle copyright and training data. Meanwhile, regulators are tightening oversight, especially in healthcare and youth-facing apps. Expect more scrutiny, more lawsuits, and a lot of policy shakeups in the months ahead. Let's hit the tool belt. Here are the AI tools trending this week. Zero GPT detects AI-generated text grubby AI, automates social media engagement Vadu AI, turns text and audio into dynamic videos. Walter writes, rewrites AI text to sound more human Joyland and Chubb AI, customizable AI characters and companions. These tools are reshaping how creators, marketers, and developers build and connect. That's a wrap on this week's Tech and AI Roundup. From billion-dollar infrastructure plays to avatar drama and next-gen tools, the future's unfolding fast, and you're right here for it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. What's your take? AI backbone or bubble? Which tool are you trying next? Catch you next week. Stay sharp, stay curious, and stay hustling.